Speed Gamer, thank you so much. He said he noticed a huge difference going from an 8700K at 5.3 gigahertz with a 3080 playing Ratchet and Clank. He was getting 90 to 100 FPS. Now with the 7950X, he went to 120 to 150 uh, FPS on high settings. Well, yeah, your CPU matters. Mm -hmm. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. I mean, the 8700K is fine. It's nice. It's not trash. Well, like we did a video, your CPU matters. We've done many of those. <laughs> we have. I've I've grown tired yeah. of saying your CPU matters. I know. Um, I want you to take this opportunity. Oh. Tell everybody what CPU you used to have and what CPU you have now and what differences you've noticed. Oh yeah, I've got I had the uh, i9 10850K and I've gone to the i9 7950X 3D. I9? The i9. You said i9. You mean I R9? Mean the Ryzen 9, the 9. So she went from an i9 10850K, okay. 10 core, 20 thread, 10th gen Intel, to, to a Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. And. Uh, you don't have to wait for anything. <laughs> you click and it's like, yes, ma'am. Do you notice a difference? Oh, absolutely. Did you run any benchmarks? Nope. Where do you notice the difference? Oh, just using the computer, opening Chrome, um, uh, opening games, the uh, uh, updates are faster. Uh, your loading screen in games is faster. I mean, everything, there is very little waiting. But your old computer was fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, it would work fine. And now we come to the dichotomy where, I hope I'm using the right word, um, we come to the issue where people say, my computer's fine. Yes, it is. But your computer being fine does not equal no reason to upgrade. Now, money, budget, life situation may mean you're not able to, which yeah. is fine. Well, the other thing too is that that computer was coming to a four year life cycle as well. It was, it was pushing for, for a four year life cycle. So well, it also helps that you're married to a tech YouTuber husband who had a shelf full of parts. I've been consolidating our stuff yes, yes. and and shrinking stuff down. Um, we, I have, over the past, what, seven? Do you realize March will be eight years? Yeah, I do. Over the past almost eight years of doing tech YouTube, I have accumulated a stupid amount of stuff. stuff. And while I do sell stuff and I have sold things off to pare it down over time, um... We built her entire new computer, a Ryzen 9 7950X 3D, 3D, with the RAM, motherboard, the case, case, power Cup supply, fans, storage. Fan storage, fans. 12 terabytes of Gen 4 NVMe. Yeah. How much of that did I have to buy to build that machine? None. Hashtag first world problems. Um, well, it, 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 it all had a, a reason for existing, but then that reason changed, so... We bought some of it, some of it was sent to us as samples, some of it was in other builds and PCs, exactly. and it just... Yeah, it just, it all gets... You end up with stuff on the shelf. It just gets moved around. And her computer was fine. I tweeted about it, and in fact, I had numerous people comment to me saying, I'd love to upgrade to that machine. In fact, there must, there must have been at least a dozen people who were like, you're retiring that? I would like that machine. Yeah, I know. And they're like, uh, can I have it? And I'm like, well, let me think of a number. And they're like, well, I don't have any money. I said, well, that's why you don't have one. Yeah. Um, with all due respect, if you don't have money, upgrading your computer is probably not your priority. Fixing your money problems is. Hang on. Financial Peace University. Yes, if money, money is money, an get issue. Get money, get money, get money, get money, get money, get money, get money. The best deal is money in your bank account. Hit pocket National Bank. But I was in a position where either I was going to sell the new parts or I was going to sell her computer. Well, I'd get her an upgrade. 
Ah, uh, yeah, Ian's got the same problem. Only eight years worth of stuff? Ian's laughing at you. My office is 12 plus years full and not worth my time to take, take it and sell it. And I don't want to chuck it. Charities here want full systems. Yeah, we hear ya. Well, here's the other thing. Some of that stuff is, is not, like... I have an i5-6500 CPU sitting around doing nothing. Yeah, you do. What do you think an i5-6500 is worth? 30 bucks. i5-6500. Buy it now. Lowest price. 25 bucks with shipping. Oh, that's a T. <clears throat> oh, there's an on T. 20, 20, 25. I was close. I said 30 bucks. 25 dollars? 25 bucks. Um, it'll cost about four or five bucks shipping to send that via the post office within the US. Then you take out something for eBay fees. Yeah. So make 15 bucks. 30 Ivy Bridge CPUs. That's a lot. Well, you need to clean some of it out because you don't have a very You know, if I had 30 CPUs, that changes things because even 30 times 15 is still $450. Still money, yeah. All you have to do is just whack it in a... Bubble on bubble below. And send it off. As long as you have the plastic holder and some bubble wrap well, yeah, and an aesthetic bag. Everything. And, and you don't live a gazillion miles from the post office. What do you think a i7-2600K mm. is worth at this point? Because I have one of those on the shelf too. 15 bucks? 20 bucks? Oh wow. $25? Plus shipping? Plus shipping? 30 bucks? 30 bucks. Wow, that's more. 500 CPU collection. Should we tell Ian that I don't think that's the flex he thinks it is? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's seen it like this in his office because he doesn't have any room. That's called hoarding. <laughs> we well, need an intervention. Yeah, but it's rough when you're a tech person because it's like, oh, I'm going to need that. And then 10 years goes by and you haven't used it and then you don't want to get rid of it. So it's kind of a bit of a conundrum. Is it a bit of a conundrum? <sighs> How much is a 4790K these days? What do you reckon? 50 bucks? Probably a bit more. A bit more than... What? 72.50? That's more than I thought it was going to be. Sometimes I get hungry. <laughs> well, you're not hungry and you're not eating them if you got 500 of them. <laughs> All right, Ryan, what? I'm going to take a trip over to um, England and hang out with Ian. Okay. And I'm going to help do an intervention and clean out uh, his 12-year collection. An, an intervention. We're going to do an intervention. <laughs> We're going to clean this stuff out. I'll see you in three weeks. The top skews are still, yeah, the top skews are still valuable. Okay. What do you think a 4770K is worth? That's worth 70. 40 bucks. 40? I was going to say 50. 40? Okay. The top skew holds value, the rest don't. Mm -hmm. But these are also way past their prime. Yeah, they are. The 7700K isn't really worth all that much anymore either. 100? Well, that says read description. Hang on, let me find a real one. 120? Wow. 120 bucks for a 7700K, eh? Yeah, but that's four cores, and four cores is really I, that. Two years ago, that was worth two hundred bucks. It, it, anybody who still has a forty a seventy seven hundred k, one hundred and fifty, they've held them too long. Yeah. Um, the ninety nine hundred k's are starting to fall off. If they were three hundred, what are they? Two. They were consistently three hundred. Two seventy now. This is where holding them longer. I've seen a bunch of people with ninety nine hundred k say, "Well, I'll just wait." A while you could do that and if you you know not everybody sells their stuff and if you don't sell your stuff that's fine you can wait your 9900k is still a great cpu but 
it's going to be a $150 CPU here in a hot minute. Mm -hmm. It just, even though it's the best CPU of that socket, eight, eight cores is rapidly going to become nothing, which is one reason why the 5800X3D and 7800X3D are so stupid. Yeah. The 7800X3D at least has an upgrade path. The 5800X3D yeah. does not. That's but true. No, a, I, we're not going to see yes. No. What do you think a 9900K is worth? 275. Are there none for sale? Oh, what did you say? A 9900. Oh, it would help if I actually typed in. I'm like. That, that tech not work, no type numbers very well. Parts only. Ugh, engineering samples now. 250. 250. They're down to 250 now. Okay, yeah, I do remember they were at 300 not too long ago. Yeah. With free shipping, ten people. That'll be it. that'll be two hundred in, in less than a year, six months. Yeah, by by the summer, that'll be. That'll be under two hundred next year, this time next year. Mm -hmm. If you have one, this is your moment to sell it. What an FX eighty three fifty, seventy five to one hundred. What do you say? Seventy five to one hundred. No, it's not. I don't think so. Just scroll past all the nonsense I know, listings. It's a crap. $75? Oh, <gasps> no. What the chicken nugget? What happened? Sean. Wow. Who? Somebody's sniffing Ra glue. Ranger, yeah. What? FX8350, $75. Holy smokes. That's ridiculous. The 8320, they want more. With the motherboard. Oh, with the mother. Okay. Do you not see the oh, big picture? Yeah, okay. No, I was sitting there going, my brain was catching up. $85? What's a uh, FX 9590 95, worth? Oh, gee whiz. No. Really? 130 bucks? 150 What? 150 <gasps> Wow. Wow, 150, wow. Okay, that's a little wow. I mean. <laughs> Pull time. Holy Pull smoke. time in chat. Yeah. Okay, now I'm curious. What is a AMD Phenom 2 worth? Really? Why is there a big discrepancy between the two? There probably aren't very many for sale. Why does that one 50 bucks? These might not be selling. These might be just opportunistic well, sellers. Black edition, 100 and so. They're the same chip. They're 1090Ts. Pre-owned. I don't know. I mean, that one's 90 with shipping. What the? Hmm. What about an 1190? Oh. Uh, Jesus freaking Lord. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what people are doing here. No. Wow, there's a big consensus on that. 2% are chuckleheads. Mm. Okay, now I'm curious. What is an i7-980X worth? Actually, I should do a 990X. Because the 990X was the top chip, even though it made no sense. That's true. That's, well, that's not what I typed in. 990i7? Why is there a big discrepancy there? It's not worth either one of those. Holy smokes. Except for amusement and tinkering purposes. That's nuts. Yeah, because this one up here is, that's a tower cooler, and then this is actually an i7-920. And I think they're asking too much for it. Um, what's the 980X? Hang on. Stop. What if you just look at the sale price? $55 for a 980X. That chip was $1,000 13 years ago. I do ago. remember. I did a video about that. For those of you curious, search the channel for i7-980X. Yep. It's, um, 
It's just as trash as you think it is. It's great at the time, but today it's obsolete. A Ryzen 5600? Ian probably has one of those. He's got several, I think. He's got 500. All right, do you want to finish that? Paul? Oh, and the poll. So it says, the poll says, da -na -na -na, would you pay $130 for an AMD FX 9590 in 2023? 96% of you have your head screwed on right. That said no. And 3% were looking at you sideways said yes. Prices are worth what the market is willing to pay. There's some truth to that. Mm. Uh, Junior makes a point. Look at the performance difference between the Phenom 2 X6 uh, 1100T and the Ryzen 5 5600, which is the same price used. In fairness, the Phenom, the Phenom 2 is retro hardware now. People aren't buying that for its performance. They're buying it because they want to build a retro machine and tinker. Yeah. They want to build a ridiculous Windows XP machine or a, or a Vista or a 7 box and they want to play with their old hardware. Mm -hmm. um, I own a Pentium 4 2.4 gigahertz machine. I have a Pentium 3 1.4 gigahertz Tudelin. I've got a AMD 5X 86P75 on a 46 board. Yep. D none of those exist because they're fast. No, it's, it's memories at some point. My Apple II GS has a 2.8 megahertz CPU. Yeah, one cool. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, Paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.